What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Before we even get started with today's video, I want to go over a couple of things with you guys. So if you guys have been keeping up with my content, you guys know that I am now partnered with Short Circuit Gaming. If you guys do not know who they are. They're an esports organization and we're collabing up to bring you guys some extra content and do a bunch of stuff for you guys. So do me a favor, go down the link in the description below. Go follow them on their Twitter, their Discord, all their links down, down there. There's also a shop there which is pretty cool. You guys definitely want to go check it out. They got cool apparel, all that good stuff. I got a few stuff coming my way, so I cannot wait to show you guys that stuff. But another thing is your boys got a Twitter. If you guys haven't followed my Twitter already, go ahead down the link in the description below. Go follow Jeans over on Twitter. I am actually taking requests for Pokemon's Sword and Shield team. So if you guys are interested in sending me rental codes, that is the best way to do it. Go tweet me, go DM me over there, one or the other, but make sure you guys are following. Link is down in the description below. But let's get started here with today's team preview. We're rocking out with the Groudon and Venus review. Also features Yvelta and Life Orb Zathos. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Joshua for actually leaving this team in my Twitter feed. He actually tweeted at me, said, yo, Gene, trap the team. I'm loving it. I've been using it on the rank ladder. Hopefully, you get some wins with it. That's exactly what we're doing. But let's get started here with Groudon in that top left corner, rocking out with that Drought and the Citrus Berry. We have Precipice Blaze, Protect, Rock Slide, and Sword Dance, which is a fairly normal moveset for any single Groudon. Cannot have a Groudon team without Venusaur, so we're rocking out with that Pokemon on the squad with Chlorophyll and that Wild Lens to make Sleep Powder land more efficiently. We got Weather Ball, Sleep Powder, which I already mentioned, Sludge Bomb, and Solar Beam for both our stab moves. Middle left is going to be Yvelta, and I love this Yvelta setup right here. We got Dark Aurora alongside with that Assault Fest. We're rocking Oblivion Wing, Foul Play, Snarl, and Sucker Punch. Just such a good moveset. You got Oblivion Wing for stab with HP recovery, Foul Play to hit hard on those physical attackers, Snarl to drop special attackers, and Sucker Punch for that first from priority. It just works so well. I love this Pokemon so much and this setup for him. Middle right is going to be a great Dynamax Pokemon. It's going to be regular cantonian zapdos with static and a life orb rock and rising voltage heat wave hurricane and roost so we can get some hp back we have both our stab moves and then we got a lovely fire move for a little bit of coverage bottom left hand corner is going to be our support women's cow with prankster and that focus dash tailwind for speed control taunt to taunt opposing support mons dazzling gleam for stab and last but not least we're rocking fake tears for uh for special defense drop i really do like that because then it pairs up with that zapdos really well you can just fake tier it minus two on special defense to have zapdos roll out and just ko pokemon left and right Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be a little bit of an off meta guy right here. We got Galissapod with Emergency Exit and the Figgy Berry. We got Leech Life, First Impression, which I absolutely love. It's such a strong move for your first turn. You got Aqua Jet for first turn priority. And last but not least, you're rocking Wide Guard, right? Wide Guard is a really good protect move in this format right here because you got like Shadow Rider Calyrexes. You also have like Kai Ogres and like Groudons, everybody who's using double hitting moves. So Wide Guard is such a good move to maybe like get you guys out of the sticky situation. But guys, there's team preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this crowd on Venusaur and Yvelta Series 12 team. Before we get rolling in battle number one, something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is me and SCG short circuit game for short. Paired up, teamed up to bring you guys 10% off code with Rogue Energy. I'm actually rocking some Cherry Limeade right now, but I just want to inform you guys that we do have a 10% off code. So if you guys are interested in that, head down the link in the description below. Like I said, everything is down in the link in the description. Go pick up some rogue energy and if you end up picking up some use code short circuit for 10 percent off like i said link is down in the description below for everything if you do pick up stuff let me know in the comment section down below anything that you guys did pick up but we're going up against an ice rider Calyx and palkia team that also features tapu finney incineroar amoongus and porygon too so heavy on the trigger he's heavy on the trigger i kind of got to go into my taunt mine right here which would be whimsicott and we can also put a pokemon to sleep which could be good so i'm gonna go venusaur i'm gonna go whimsicott i think those are just a solid lead and then we're gonna bring crowd on and you felt in the back end probably my two best right i mean it does have rage powder which is kind of scary rage powder could be a pain could definitely be a pain but uh can i do anything about that can i do anything about that hmm mm hmm 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 trying to think i'm trying to think i think we're just gonna lead what we have I, i'm, I'm kind of digging it a little bit but I'm still kind of scared. Because if he goes Amoongus for the Rage Powder, that's just like, dude, come on, leave me alone. It's like, leave me alone, dude. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. But we do have Wimscott for the Taunt. We do have the Sleep Powder. But again, if he goes into the Rage Powder, it's just like, bro, we can't do anything up against that. We cannot. It's just like, it's just going to do us dirty. But let's see who he ends up leading. Just anything but the Amoongus and we should be thriving. But I, I feel like it's going to be like Amoongus, Ice Rider, Calyx or something like that. Let's see. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with this all day. The top of Finny can come in here. Oh, wait, we can't put Pokemon to sleep from here. But I could taunt the Palkia, which is solid. It definitely is solid. I cannot put Pokemon to sleep due to the, uh, the, the lovely little terrain. But I can indeed still taunt him. I'm thinking of doing. 
I'm thinking of taunting and just straight up Dynamax him, right? That's looking good. That's looking real good. That's looking real good. This thing is going to pop the uh, Misty Seeds. Okay. Raises special defense. I'm cool with that. And I feel like just going into a taunt here and just Dynamaxing him and going into... I could go for an Ooze. Ooze ain't a bad call here for special defense boost, but I feel like we have to start chipping up some damage. Or do I go for that special defense boost? That ain't bad. Nah, we're going to go for the Vine Lash. We're going to go for a big KO right off the rip and roll out from here. That's my plan all day. He's going to end up Witchroll on top. So Toppy's going to get the Witchroll. That's fine. A P2 is going to come out here. So I'm going to taunt up onto this Palkia, and then I'm going to taunt up onto the P2. He's going to actually take Prankster, which is hilarious. He's actually going to take Prankster. That is hilarious. So Prankster's going to come out here. <laughs> he's got Prankster now, but he's just there. Rocket Trick Room. I'm still going to Dynamax. I'm going to drop this Vine Lash. And I'm actually glad I dropped the Vine Lash on the damage. Because it, it just gets this slowly chip damage away, which is really, really good. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Even though it's not gonna do too too much over to P2. It's just it's just the chip damage really allows everything that I'm through. So we're gonna taunt this Palkia. We're gonna allow him not to go for Trick Room if that's what he was going for. And then we're gonna Vine Lash. You're going to Vine Lash. Yeah, he sent it that way. And that's not bad damage. That's not bad damage at all. The chip damage is gonna come through here, it's gonna do some more. So show me Palkia's going for Trick Room. That's gorgeous. So Palkia was going for Trick Room. We're gonna have to taunt the P2 now, and I think we should go for the special defense boost at this point, right? Taunt and oozing? Taunt and ooze don't sound bad. I could fake. I could definitely fake here. But you know what? I'm just going to taunt this thing. No, no, no. Not Palkia. Not Palkia. We're just going to taunt this thing. We're just going to taunt that thing. And I could go for a G-Max Strike. But I'm just going to go for an ooze just for a special defense boost. Or not special defense boost. Special attack boost. But I'm not really worried about the P2 too, too much. If it's not popping Trick Room. I'm really liking this. I'm like, so we have an early Dynamax. We have the slow chip damage rolling out here. We're not going to do that much damage to the Palkia due to its special defense boost. But again, I'm only doing this for a nice big special. That's my plan. That's the way I'm rolling out. But if I can keep Trick Room like under control, we can be fine. We can be fine. That's, that's my only worry here. It's him not popping Trick Room. We cannot allow it. So he's going to Dynamax Palkia. That's fine. I think it's Palkia, right? I've seen people Dynamax to P2 before. But Trick Room is our number one priority to stop. The number one priority, and it is gonna be Palkia. So he's gonna end up Dynamax Palkia. We're kind of hoping he's going after Wings Cock. So I would love to get out ground. I would love to get out. Love to get out ground on. Just to set the heat, kind of go from there. The Palkia might be faster than my Venus right at this point, but we're gonna, we're still gonna taunt up onto this P2. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. We're gonna double down on taunt, and he was gonna go for an Eerie. I love it. I love me some taunts. Good old taunt coming in hot. Coming in hot. We're gonna ooze. Like I said, it's not gonna do that much damage, but still, slowly chipping up. Slowly chip it up, and then we're going to get a special attack boost. Lovely special attack boost. And what's Palkia going for? I'm kind of curious to see what he's doing. I'm going to go for a flare. So he's going to flare me up. That's totally fine. Oh, he's going to flare up my whimsy. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. So that allows some speed to roll through here. That allows some speed to roll through here. And at this point, I think I'm just going to special defense drop this Palkia, and I'm just going to hit him hard. Right? That's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. I got to get off some big damage before we do roll out here. Oh, I could set up, ooh, I could set up a Tailwind. I'm kind of liking a Tailwind here. I am kind of like in a tail one before Wednesday goes out. Get some speed. I'm with it all day. We could slow them down if we want to, but we're just going to do that. And we we'll go after you. Yeah, we're just going to go after you. Just keep chipping up damage onto Spalkia. Run it. Obviously, like I said, I could have went for the special defense boost, but I'd rather take some more speed for my team. Rather take some more speed for my team. Even though we don't, we didn't really need it. I should have went for the special defense drop. Probably my play. Probably definitely my play. Should've went for a special defense drop because he's rolling a bunch of trick room Pokemon. I'm cool with that. He's gonna end up doing that. That's fine by me. He's gonna swap into Tapu Fini. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with Tapu Fini getting swapped. And he did set the drought for me, which is which is pretty nice. He did set the drought for me. And now we have Tailwind ready to roll. We're gonna take speed for the rest of our squad. And we're gonna chip up some damage on the Palky. That's huge. That's huge. That's lovely. So I could drop a Solar Beam if I want to. He's gonna fire again into my Venusaur. Venusaur should be able to soak this up. Thank you. Thank you, Venusaur. Thank you, Venusaur. Thank you, Venusaur. Okay, so now, what's his call here? What is going to be his call? Because we're going to Vine Lash right into that top of the I don't care if it protects. We got to get off some big old damage on it. We're going to do that, and then we're just going to Gleam across. Palkia shakes off Taunt. We're not, uh... We're going to go for Solar Beam. Where do we double down to Palkia? Hmm. They do have the Yvelta in the back end. So I feel like we have to get rid of that Pokemon. Go for the Sludge Bomb or Solar Beam's gonna do a lot more damage. Could put pa Palkia to sleep here. Thinking that the top boom might protect. No, the Misty Terrain's still out here, isn't it? Isn't it still out here? Yeah, yeah, it's still out here. So we can't go for sleep powders. Uh, I think we just Solar Beam. 
I'm with it all day. We have a speed. We have a lot of speed here. So I'm digging it. And both his Trick Mons are low on health. Solid turns. These are solid turns for us. So we wasted out his Dynamax turns. He wasted out ours. But more importantly, we wasted out our hours to allow him not to put up Trick. So I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're sitting right here. We got P2 low on health. We got Palkia low on health. We're going to hope Tapu. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Tapu Fini doesn't protect either. And we were going to read a protect. We were going to read a protect. So that's huge. I think we just dump on this Tapu Fini here. I think we tell Tapu Fini to go home with a big old solar beam. A big old solar beam coming in hot. Send it. Take it out. Get it on out of here. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. We get rid of Tapu Fini. Palki is going to take some damage from the status and Gleam. It is lovely. Uh, and take it out. Oh, so close. So close. But still, whatever Pokemon's on the field. Oh, he's going to Geyser. He's going to Geyser. Are you taking out here on the Geyser? That's fine. I'm just going to hop back in with Groudon. I'm just going to hop back in with Groudon. We have Tailwind set up. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Solid first battle so far. Solid, solid first battle. And now he either has to roll into P2, or if I had to guess, he's rolling in with Ice Rider Calyrex as well. Oh, and I forgot about this. Let's go. Vine Lash damage taking him out. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. The Vine Lash damage doing some big chip damage. And uh, the Missy Train might end soon. It might end soon, but we bring out ground on here. We're going to take Weather Control. Have my Venusaur chilling here for another turn. We could drop another Solar Beam. I could put Pokemon to sleep. And I'm leaning towards putting Pokemon to sleep and just have my ground on here with Blades. What a first battle. What a first battle. Your boy's thriving. Your boy's thriving. There's the Calyrex. I think we have to pose a threat with Blades, right? He's going to throw out P2. The P2 might go for a Trick Room here. P2 might go for a Trick Room. Yeah, I think P2 might go for a Trick Room. So I'm going to double down into P2. I'm going to go for Blades. Just in case he wants to protect and go for a Trick Room. And then Sludge Bomb all across him onto that side, right? Probably my best bet. BT's going to get Drought. Thank God it didn't get uh, Chlorophyll. <laughs> We're going to go Blades here. And then I'm just going to go for... I could go for a Weather Bowl. But I just think Sludge Bomb's going to be reply. Just a little bit of Sludge Bomb. Just in, case, just in case he wants to protect, it's fine. We just can't allow him to put up Trick Room. If he doesn't put up Trick Room, we win the battle. That's the only way we lose, is if he gets off Trick Room. So we have to double down to his P2. We have to double down to this P2. Unless Calyrex is going for Trick Room. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. That could be a huge problem. That could be a huge problem. I wonder what he's doing here. Slow Drum's coming in, in hot. Take out the P2. Cool. We take out P2. Please tell me this Calyrex is going for Trick Room. Blades. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, don't tell me. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. We lost this battle. Don't even tell me we lost this battle. Don't. We lost this battle, didn't we? We lost this battle. We lost this battle. I can't believe we lost this battle. Maybe he misses and we get off of sleep. No way. No way. I know we have Sucker Punch ready to roll. I need my Groudon to eat this up and drop a rock. Groudon, I love you. I love you, Groudon. I love you. Land this rock slide. Land this rock slide and get off as much damage as you can. Okay, rock slide lands. How much damage are we doing? Give me a crit or something. We're going to lose this battle. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that we just lost this battle. I just... I'm astounded that we lost this battle. This game's rigged. This game is rigged. This just shows how broken Calyrex really is. Are you kidding me? We just lost this battle? He's going to drop a Glacial Lance. Dip on into me. But from here, I have to go for a Sucker Punch. I need first and priority. Because if not, my Yvelta goes straight down to this Glacial Lance. Sucker Punch comes through. Yo, pick up the K. Okay, get a crit or something. Oh my, no, no, yo, get out my face, stop it, stop it with this nonsense, yo, you're about to eat this, I know Groudon isn't, you're about to, can you eat, bruh, bruh, this game going in the trash can right now, it's going in the trash can, there's no reason why we should have lost this battle, I'm still amazed that we lost that battle, first of all, our Precipice Blades missed that Calyrex, if it would have hit the Calyrex, we would have won. Second of all, can't believe he was able to get off Trick Room. And third of all, that Sucker Punch should have picked up the KO. Left him on like 3 HP. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But we're here to make up that win right here in battle number two. Going up against an Inteleon team. It's actually a team I showcase on my channel, which is really, really cool. So hopefully this guy watched my videos. William, if you're watching, 
Shout out to you, though. Shout out to you. He's rocking the Landorus. He's got one Scott Kyogre, Zacian, and Indeedee. And Indeedee. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I'm really leaning towards, like, Whimsicott Zapdos combo. I just really, really like that. Got to bring Groudon and uh, Yvelta in the back end. Just digging it. It's just too good. It's just too good. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's at least grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, that first battle. Come on, man. Yo, come on, man. And I saw from a mile away. Once I saw stuff happen, I was just like, oh, we missed our blades. Like, oh, he's popping trick room. Oh, God. We lost this one. Groudon was able to eat up a shot. He did a decent amount of damage with Rock Slide. But, dude, we missed that blades beforehand, which would have gave us that, like, extra inch of damage that we needed for that sucker punch. I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm astound. I'm astonished. But this guy's got three seconds to lock it in. Is he going to not lock it in? Oh, he got it. He got it in time. My boy Will got it in time. All right. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's see who he's going to lead. Let's see how he's going to roll out with this. We do have the uh, Whimsicott and Zapdos combo, which I really, really like. Because we can just, you know, special defense drop it. Kind of just roll big old airstreams. Take speed that way. And deal some damage at the same time. I'm curious to see who he's going to lead here. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Lando and Indeedee. Um, I'm really fine with that. I'm really, really fine. I'm really, really fine with that. Lando and Indeed. Totally fine with that. I mean, he might Dynamax the Lando, which is a, a little scary. I'm not going to not gonna sit here and lie, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine here. <clears throat> I think we just go for uh, go for that special defense drop. I'm really I'm really leaning towards the, the fake tears into the, the airstream, right? It's looking real good. Actually, I can't fake tears him. I'm gonna have to tail one. I'm gonna have to tail one here. I could Dynamax and I could, uh, do I go for Rise and Voltage. The flare up. Hmm. I don't wanna set the electric terrain here. Just to switch up the terrain. I can do more with that next turn. Because I can't go for fake tears right now due to the terrain just chilling out here. I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing. He might end up Dynamaxing this I really do not know. I really do not know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We are gonna take speed this turn, though, so it's not too bad. So once I change up this terrain, I can start using my fake tears. We can kind of just roll off from there. And if he wants to Dynamax Lando, that's going to be our plan. Because I don't think Lando can take out my bird in one shot. With a rock fall. It's not stab. We should be able to soak it up. So I'm digging. Let's see if he Dynamaxes. He's not going to Dynamax. He's going to end up going for follow me. And he might set up a sword stance, which is definitely an option. Which is definitely an option. We're going for the tailwind. And then you can follow me again, which kind of stinks. Ooh, this is it's actually looking a little uglier than I thought it would. Because now I'm thinking he's going to set up a sword stance. We're hoping he's not. We go into this, and we send it, and we chip up some nice damage. Not bad damage, terrain is now ours. So terrain's ours, he doesn't have that in DD anymore, or that terrain anymore, and we're hoping this thing's not setting up a sword stance, but I think it is, right? Hate this game. I hate this game. Okay, uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? I think we have to, like, fake tears this thing. Right? Actually, we can't fake tears this thing. I don't want to. I'm just going to go for a Gleam. Which I've some damage. And then I'm just going to go for... Uh... I'm just going to take out the Ndidi, right? Taking out the Ndidi is probably your best bet. Taking out Ndidi is probably your best bet. He's going to Dynamax the Lando. And he's probably just going to dump all my Zap. He's going to go for a Follow Me. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to end that thing. And chip up some damage. And then next turn, since we have Tailwind, I can uh, Foul Play into that... Uh, into that Lando. Chip up some damage. Or I can just go for Fake Tears. It's really whatever I want to do. There you go. Lando's gonna come out with Sword Dance. Dude, I saw it right after he hit the follow me. I was like, dude, he's saying my Sword Dance up. That's exactly what he did. Let's see what he does. Another follow me coming out here. Yep. He's gonna follow me it up. We're gonna take out NDD, no problem. And then Lando's probably just gonna double my Zapdos with the Rock Ball, right? Or is he gonna go for an airship? There's options. Oh, my what's called went first? Actually, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. So we take him out. Beautiful. Get that thing out and out of my face. And we're gonna see what Lando wants to do. Lando, what are you doing? You dropping a rock? Go after my Whimscott or something. That could be cool. He's gonna go for a rock ball. Yeah, he's taking out my Zapdos. So Zapdos is gonna drop out here, no problem. That's totally fine. Oh no, he goes after Whimsy. He goes after Whimsy. We like that turn. Yo, we love that turn. Did he click the wrong button? I think he might have clicked the wrong button. We take those wins all day. We take those wins all day. We are sitting at one and one because his communication definitely gave it. We ended up grabbing ourselves a victory in that last battle. The win went into my calm. I don't know if he quit. I don't know if his connection gave out. But, yo, we take those all day. But let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for an actual win here. We're going up against a Mewtwo and Kyrie team with Zoro, which is kind of scary. Thing is very confusing. And then he's got uh, Regislecki, Incineroar, and Ridley Rillaboom. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Zapdos is a solid leader. 
I feel like Zapdos is just really, really good at just like taking some control. We could uh, also grant some speed there. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking Whimsicott here as well. Whimsy's not bad. Should I go Whimsicott and Zapdos? I just get that lead rolling. If he wants to fake me out, he can fake me out. It's no big deal. So I'm with that all day. And then we go Groud on Yvelta just for weather control and some big damage in the backhand. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. But yo, Mewtwo? Never see this Pokemon. So hopefully this guy gets some work done, but hopefully we get the, get the win. You know? You know the deal. You know the deal. But yo, let's get some Rogan. Let's get some Cherry Limeade ripping on here. Get a little sip because we need a win here. We need a win here. You guys know the deal. 10% off. Code short circuit. Link is down in the description below. Go ahead over there. Go ahead over there. But uh, let's see who he's going to lead. He's going to end up rocking out with Mewtwo and the similar. Okay, so we can fake me out, but uh, no, I could swap. I could definitely swap. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just straight up swapping and uh, maybe going after some Mewtwo. If he's going to fake me out, I mean, that's fine. If he's going to fake me out. That's, that's that's cool. I'm cool with that. I could swap an e belt though. could definitely swap an e belts. Belts isn't a bad call here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Just going for a straight airstream. Taking a little bit of speed away from these guys. And then just hard swapping you. Because he's definitely going to fake me out, right? Just going to my salt best you belts. I'm digging it. We can save my boy for later. We can save my women's cocktail win stuff for later. I'm digging it all day, but I just don't want the fake out and him dropping like a... Like expanded force. Just doing some work on me. It's not about it. I'm not about it. I'm not liking it. Maybe a Mindstorm. He, he might Dynamax me too. Let's see. See how this one plays. Me too. Such a cool boot. I'm gonna swap whimsy. I'm gonna Dynamax or Zip Zap. We're gonna get buzzing. We're gonna get out your belts, dude. Love me some your belts. Love me some your belt. Belt is just way too cool. It's way too cool. But here comes our Dynamax. Let's get buzzing here. Let's get buzzing here. We need a win here. We need a win. We need a lovely little win. I don't know if he's Dynamax. He might be. He might Dynamax in Mewtwo. But usually Mewtwo don't really rock out with Dynamax. Kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping. Mewtwo's such, such a cool Pokemon. I would love to see it Dynamax. So we get the Dynamax. We go 332 on the HP board. That's gorgeous. And uh, he's going to end up going for a fake out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that all day. We saw that all day. We saw that all day. And he's going to fake tears me. How dare you fake tears me? How dare you make that play? How dare you make that play? He's going to fake tears me. How dare you? We end up getting off this free swap. We go into an airstream. Get this thing out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. And more importantly, we get some speed boost. But we are fake tears. We are my... Oh, it's Zoro. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. <laughs> hate this little Pokemon. I told you from the beginning. I was like, yo, Zoro's going to be a problem. So we know he has Mewtwo in the back end. But I have to guess he's probably ri ripping with uh, Kyogre as well. That's fine. So who's going to go into? Is he going to go into Mewtwo now? Yeah, he's going to go into Mewtwo. And I can definitely see, like, a Dynamax. In I can definitely see him going into a Dynamax. My party shot on me as well. You know, I'm going to Lightning into this slot. Look at Snarl. I'm leaning towards a Snarl here. But also Foul Play. I'm leaning just towards a nice little Snarl. Nice, lovely Snarl. I'm with it all day. Maybe he's going to end up Dynamax. I'm cool with that. We have speed. We're going to do some big damage onto this thing. And plus, we're going to Snarl on top of that. He might still be able to take out my Zapdos afterwards, but still. I'm, li I'm liking where we're sitting here. Then I can bring out Wimscott. I can fully take speed control. I can fully take some lovely little speed control. So here comes the Mewtwo with the Dynamax. I was, I did, I, see, I thought he was going to Dynamax Mewtwo earlier. And then it's just like, nah, it's a Zork. <laughs> it's a lovely little Zork. And he's going to guard up. That's totally fine. I guess he's party shotting into me. It's a fine play. Then that means he might have to bring back out Kyogre. Might have to bring out Kyogre here. Party shots. Which I think he's going to go down. I think he's party shot, right? He's got to rip me with a party shot. There's no doubt. Yeah, there's the party shot. So he's going to bring out Kyogre, right? Kyogre's got to be his last one. And at this point, he might have to protect the Kyogre. And what do I do? I definitely still have to uh, go for Snarl drop. Snarl is 100% of the play. And then do I max landing into the Kyogre? Or do I take off some damage onto the uh, onto the Mewtwo? My play. This is my play. We do not like the drizzle. We could hard swap. We could hard swap and strong. But nah, I say we just pose a threat. I say we just pose this threat. We go here and then we go into Snarl. And then we can hard swap next turn if we have to. I'm liking it all day. I'm liking this all day. We're gonna pose a threat into Kyrie. Even though I think he might be protecting, this is just like a just in case kind of thing. I oh, know he's going to withdraw. He's going to go back into Incineroar. I'm fine with that. We're, we're special attackers. 
We are special attackers. So good thing I did not swap actually. That's actually a call by me. Now we get off the snarl for free. We get off this lovely little snarl. So we're gonna poke out here with a max lightning. Send it, baby. Uh, we'll chipping up some big damage, and I'm guessing this thing is gonna actually toss a berry, munch it up, all that good stuff. Actually, I'm hoping it's holding the figgy berry so it doesn't. Eat. Let's see, no citrus berry. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not citrus berry. That's gorgeous. Snarl's gonna come out here, and yo, please tell me it's not figgy. It's probably a figgy now, isn't it? It's probably a figgy berry. It's gonna be munching down. Don't munch down. Keep your HP the same. Oh, it's not a berry. It's not a berry. He's gonna drop an airstream. And we should be able to soak that up. He fucked up with that assault vest. Woo! We love it. We love it, y'all. Give this guy props for rocking with YouTube, but I think we got this battle pretty much on lockdown. Even though I said that about number one. So I'm not I'm not gonna not gonna go deny just yet. So from here I could swap. I could swap, but I don't I don't think there's a point of swapping. I really don't see there being a point of swapping here. I just think of rising voltage can really come out here. We get off double damage there, and then I could just snarl, but I think Oblivion Wing for a little bit of HP back would be nice. Even though he's gonna fake me out. Even though he's gonna fake me out. How dare you fake me out? Leave me alone. Fake out's gonna come out over onto Yvelta. That's fine. I should rather go onto Yvelta. Oh no, he outspeeds my Zapdos. Oh, he airstreamed last turn. Smart play. He did airstream last turn. Okay, so now he has airstream, but now his like Dynamax turns are over. So now we can't sucker punch. That's a little whack, but still, we can go into Oblivion Wing. And we kind of roll off from there. Oh, but he sets up this for expanding force again. We gotta go in the Wimps Cotton Tailwind, right? We gotta go in the Wimps Cotton Tailwind. We gotta Tailwind speed. And we'll save our uh, Groudon for the back because we're definitely gonna need a little bit of weather. Definitely gonna need a little bit of weather on our side. So we still focus Sash. We're gonna Tailwind up. I do dig it. I do dig it. We cannot suck a punch. I gotta remember that. So I'm just gonna Tailwind. I think I might just Foul Play in the Mewtwo. How much damage can Foul Play really do in the Mewtwo? Tailwind. Popping a foul play. Let's run it. Let's run it. Even though it's not a physical attack, it's still foul play can do it. Decent. Super effective on Mewtwo. I like it. I like it a lot. I dig. It. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. But yeah, that 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 airstream really did him good there. Really did him good there. I'm gonna be able to tell when here. I'm taking full speed control for the rest of the battle. And we're hoping we can win this battle. We're hoping we can win it. Knock it down, yo. Let's get it, jeans. Let's get it. I'm trying to think what he can do to kind of get out of the situation. Because Groudon 1v1. I don't, th I don't even think it would be 1v1 with Groudon. I think uh, we're going to have one over Pokemon. I think it's going to be like a 2v1 with Kyogre. But we just have to allow his Kyogre to come out here first. That play comes out. Pick up the KO, yo. Get some big damage off. Let's go. That's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we need. We love it. We love it. That's huge. We have speed. We're thriving out here. Flare Blitz is going to come in here. That's doing poopy damage. We're in the rain. We're in the rain. We eat. We love it. And he's going to go down and recoil? No, he's not. He's not going to go down and recoil, but the best part about this is going to be, uh... He's going to have to bring out Kyogre, and I can just snarl and die something. So I'm going to just start dropping a special attack, chipping up some damage. I could go, oh, I could go for a Bloody Wing, which I think I want to do. I think I want to do. Definitely want to Gleam. Gleam will take out the Incineroar, but do I Oblivion Wing or do I snarl? I think I just snarl, get the special attack drop. I think that's my play all day, because he might even protect Kyogre. I just think it's my play all day. So we're going to snarl up here, chip up some damage. That takes out Incineroar, and then Gleam's going to chip up more damage. And we're hoping he's going for Water Spout, because Water Spout does less damage the more damage he's taking. So I'm digging that. He's minus one. He's minus one. Gleam coming out in hot. Wim's caught in the back end. Doing with some work. What's he going for here? He's going for the Origin Pulse. So Origin Pulse was a smart call, but I still think we're sitting in such a good position, because my Wim's not going to go down here. And uh, we're looking good. We're definitely looking good. The so Snarl was a good call. And we're going to change up the weather. And we are changing up the weather. Save my ground on for the perfect time. Rain's gone. Wow. We didn't even need to change up the weather. But we are going to change up the weather because we want to. <laughs> we're going to pop into a ground on. Uh, we're going to drop a Blades. Actually, what has a higher higher chance of hitting? What has a higher chance of hitting here? I really don't, I really don't want to mess this up. I really don't want to miss attacks and lose the battle. That could just be atrocious. <laughs> that would be, be no fun. That would be no fun. But we're definitely going to go into this. We have speed. And I think Blades higher accuracy, right? That is higher accuracy. But this is Stab. And we're not no softy. We're going for blades. We're going for blades. Cancel the battle. Don't even don't even allow me to get the chance to hit because he, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss my shots all day, all day long. Let's see what he does. But yo, the Zoric was hilarious. We're like, okay, cool. We dumped on the Me Too. Then Zoric just pops out. We're like, ah, oh, come on, come on. Gleam's gonna fly here. We chip it up some more damage, and Blades comes out here for the win. It connects. Yo, RNG's on our side. That should pick up the KO, right? Beautiful. Let's go. Two and one for today's video. We pick up a full win in battle number three.
Want to give one last huge shout out to Joshua for leaving this team on my Twitter. Thank you for tweeting at me, sending me this team. I absolutely loved it, and we grabbed ourselves a winning record. We had the grab on Venus for combo showcasing. We got Yvelta Zapdos out there and Wim Scott, but we did not get to use Glisspod, but Glisspod's solid all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.